right. Hey. He is looking green. I see sky. Or, I see fields of green. <laughs> hey guys, how you doing? I'm Dorian G. And, um, oh my god, this game is so. So. I've had to listen to this thing loop for like six times now. It's like a 30 second loop. Oh, I gotta get something going. <laughs> Alright, this game is incredibly broken. I've read that much about it. I picked this up. Whoop, I'm sorry about that mic sound, everybody. I uh, picked this up for exactly 86 cents. 86 cents. Yep. And I'm going easy because this game is so apparently broken, so. Oh. This is such. This is the back of the thing alone. It's like you wake up alone in a deep, in a deep and fog-covered forest. Your friends are nowhere to be found. It already sounds cliche. So, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna be quiet for the cutscene here. <laughs> this feels wonderful! Well, it's not exactly my idea, Paradise. What do you think, Ray? Huh? Did you say something about Michelle? You know, if you keep staring like that, you're gonna go blind. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my god. Okay, I wanted to stay quiet in case I miss any dialogue, but that was horrible. He's supposed to be this big buff guy. His arms are like... Whoop. Alright. I guess I'll read this for you guys too, because I'm not sure who's just listening to this in the background. Mike. So the big buff guy whose arms are like paper thin. If she wasn't like that... she. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna talk normal. If she wasn't like that, she'd probably have a, a few boyfriends by now. Talk about your, her weird bug exception. Now here's Ray. Michelle's not like you. She would never grow out with more than one guy at a time. Mike. I've never technically cheated on any of my girlfriends. Ray. You've never had the chance. Have you ever had a relationship that lasted more than eight weeks or three weeks? My God. Can it at least change character and not just have the same voice box? over Mike. That is so... Ugh, pet peeve. Alright, so Mike... At least I've had a girlfriend, unlike you. You know, if you like uh, Michelle so much, why don't you tell her? A girl like Michelle requires a lot of finesse. Whatever you say, Ray. Anyway, I plan on telling her tonight. Woo! <laughs> Mike, yeah, sure. So that's why someone who hates bugs as much as you agreed to come on this trip. Alright, so Mike's calling us out because apparently we only came to this island, this bug-infested island, to hit on Michelle. Alright, so Ray, well, someone had to protect her from you. You don't trust me? We've been best friends since high school. I would never go after your girl. You should know that. Well, pretty good character building right now. Still seems really 80s horror, I'd say. Yeah, right. I trust you about as much as I trust the rest of the bugs on this island. Is this like a school trip then? Or are, they guy, are these like scientists and these are his, her bodyguards? I'm not sure yet. Mike, hey, at least Michelle likes bugs. For, that's important for some reason. 
Michelle. Mike. Ray. It's getting dark. I think we should set up camp. There's a good spot over there. How's the sound and lighting for you guys? Because on my cell phone, from what I'm watching right now, it looks okay. But I want to know from you guys if everything is looking and sounding good. It was all right, Mike. It was still morning when we got on the boat, wasn't it? Where did the sun go? All right, so we're in some kind of like spooky, uh, you mean a triangle zone right now? The sun will be back tomorrow, Mike. It is pretty dark. I wouldn't want to be caught out in that fog either. You just scared of giant bugs, wuss? <laughs> Michelle, this island is exactly like the necro or necro notes. Described it in described it. It's a paradise for insects. So Ray, you mean this place is going to be crawling with those things? Michelle, oh, they're big, but I'm sure they're harmless. Besides, think of what we can learn here. Should they have more guns than just a single shotgun? I'm just saying because. I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. Michelle, analyzing their ecosystem could lead to such advances in science. My god, this is cliche horror movie 101. Uh, or amazing advances in bug spray. <laughs> Ray has the right idea. You really need to get over your dislikes of insects, Ray. Whatever, Michelle. They survive billions of years and are more adaptable than humans will ever be. We'll see how well they adapt to the bottom of my shoe. Ooh! Ray, if you're going to hit on her, man, you can't insult her favorite pastime or hobby or whatever this is yet. I'm not sure. Begin tutorial? Yes, I don't know. What the hell I'm doing? <laughs> but I swear to God, I've had more thrilling openings from Shin Megami games. Now I'm not talking about Tensei, I'm talking about the spin-off ones where it's like half an hour of mindless dialogue. Ray, there's still no way I'm letting those freaky bugs come after me. <laughs> Mike, oh, you're planning on swishing them with your bare hands? Oh, come on! Guys, if you're, this game was such a low budget, at least have them around a campfire. I'm tired of staring at these stupid things, it is so annoying. No, there's got to be something I can use. Oh, finally, here we go. A attacks. Move by using the control stick on the nunchuck. The mini map is on the bottom right. Oh, I gotta fill it out as I go. Damn it. Use the mini map. Find the next destination point. Can I fall off the dock? Alright, so we finally actually got into some game, but look at the way the guy runs. I swear, Naruto runs even better than him. He, like, leans his, half his body forward, wiggles his arms. What is wrong with you, man? Let's look for a weapon. Alright, I can see exactly where the minimap wants me to go. I just want to explore a little bit here. Alright, so there was humans here before, because this is a second man-made dock. This kind of reminds me of... I'm not sure if you guys ever seen um, uh, Steam Greenlight crap. Well, that's kind of what it's reminding me of right now. It's like something you'd find on Steam Greenlight. Alright, so I get a... Uh, pick up a stick. A tree branch. Not from a tree, just in the middle of a field. <laughs> oh, come on! Oh, nice weapon. What are you going to do? Poke them to death? Hey, that's all I could find. Hold the B button and sway. Alright, so there is going to be some motion control. Let's practice. Can I smack him? Try holding the B button while swinging the Wii remote down. Alright. Attack successful. All right. Practice again. No, I think I get the point. 
Normal attacks are comprised of medium, high, and low attacks. All right. You could also use triple hit attack combos. Mid attacks. The third hit of a mid attack changes based on how hard you swing the. Oh my God, no! <laughs> how I'm gonna pull like get tennis elbow by playing this game. Lighter attacks have smaller openings. All right. So sh I got to do by the actual. I'm not sure if you guys can actually hear this. It's me trying to do everything. All right, so light attack. One, two, three. Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. Now let's try strong attack. So I gotta really just whip it. All right. One, two, three. Oh, no, I gotta put the wee strap just on just for safety. Move away from my microphone. One, two, three. There we go. I'm gonna sound so weird recording this game. <laughs> Learn to master both kinds of attacks while fighting your opponents. All right. High attacks. Attack while pushing the control stick upwards. All right. Oh my god, this is gonna be so annoying. All right. Good job. No. High attacks are effective on air. Oh, just airborne enemies? Damn it. What kind of airborne bugs are they going to do for us, though? I wish I kind of skipped a tutorial. <laughs> Low attacks are effective on shorter enemies. Alright, so that's going to be like cockroaches. I'm guessing like moths and like. Super killer mosquitoes. Press A button to enter. Alright, I got a little first person mode going on. Try a thrust attack. Terrific, you just did a thrust attack. That sounds so weird to say. When using a thrust attack, you can aim for certain points on an enemy. Alright, so there's gonna be weak points. <laughs> ah, you're a regular action hero. Shut up, Mike. Did you bring anything to eat? I'm famished. No, but there's plenty of fresh fruit on this island. Why would you not bring food? The food could be contaminated or- oh my god. I need something to knock it down. Sticks and rocks. There's quite an arsenal you got there. I'm sure Michelle will be impressed. Oh, fuck off, Mike. Alright, so I got throwing. Multiple rock piles can be found around this area. You can pick up rocks at rock piles. Alright, let's go pick up some rocks. I hear bugs already, though. Alright, search. This rock and bees, you take as much as you can. Alright, I found a rock. Why every time it goes to mic, you get this like depressing soundtrack? It's gonna be so annoying, like in the next half an hour of playing this game. Uh. Throwing rocks are done in first person. Hold the B buttons. All right, so I gotta. So I can I, when I hit B, it locks on. And swing. All right. I've knocked down that orange. Do I want to practice again? No. <gasps> hey Ray, I think you like. Huh? Does it? All right, step three, special action. Swing the nunchuck up while pushing the control stick downwards to take us to step back. Yeah, I'll try to. Huh. I actually, uh, it kind 
I don't know. I don't know honestly what to say about this game. It has a good control setup. So I will say that. Like, it so far has promise. I rolled to the left. Oh my god, no, I didn't want to hit. Yes, this is the one thing I'm fighting figurating. Quit tutorial. Yes, my god. Are you sure? Yes, there's just so much mindless stuff. I'm sure I'll figure it out. <laughs> I got a manual. Alright, good. It's no longer depressing music. But why are we here? Oh my god, the depressing music. Every time characters talk. It'd be okay if it's like done in special segments, but... Alright, Michelle, I pick up this book for our trip. It's really interesting. It's all about the insects on the island. Err... So here's Mike. What's so great about an encyclopedia of bugs? That's kind of a good point. It's an ancient text translated by my favorite... I can't even pronounce it. Entomologist. The Necronotes describe the, <laughs> the ecology of the most advanced insects in the world. Insects evolve much faster than human beings. You know, I think it's fascinating. Well, it's because they also have shorter lifespans and all that, but... Wait. Do you have a favorite... Uh, I'll say bug guy. You got a favorite bug guy? Ray, are you okay? You look pale. Michelle... Can we go for a walk or something? Ooh. Mike, can you stop flexing that damn gun, man? Like, come on. I mean, who's your favorite bug guy? <laughs> Ray, Mike, can you leave us alone for a minute? Sure, but I have to ask Michelle something first. What is wrong with you two? Michelle... Will you be Mike? Oh my god, Mike is asking out Michelle first. You son of a bitch. Ray. <gasps> what? <laughs> I love you. Why is he saying he, lo he loves Michelle? Ray. What? Oh, Mike, you're such a kidder. Kidder? You see me as some sort of joke? Well, you've been a joke the entire fucking time. Oh. Well, Michelle, I've given this a lot of thought, and it's like you and I were made for each other. Oh, Mike, I hope you get bitten by, like, one of the big anti- like, what kind of bug? Um, tarantula or, like, scorpion, man. Like, you deserve it. So what's your answer? Will you be my girlfriend? Um, huh? Don't do it. Wait a minute. You totally stole that line from me. Come on, Ray. Yes, stand up for yourself, man. Oh. <laughs> like it was so original to begin with. Shut up, Mike. Mike, listen, Michelle. I can wait on your answer as long as it takes. How about tomorrow? Or now. Now would be better. Michelle, I need to go for a walk. Me too. I'll go with you. Yes, Ray. Good job. Oh, please don't. I just need to be alone right now. I need to think about this. But... Dude, let her go. Mike, you son of a bitch, I'm going to slap you with my stick. Right across the face. Alright, Michelle, I'll be back soon. Ray, but... What the hell, Mike? Uh, she is cute. For a weirdo bug freak. Besides, you should have seen the look on your face. But you don't even love Michelle. Hey, I honestly hadn't thought about it. But then you started saying how great she was all the time and... What? After a while, I thought maybe you were right. So, it's really your fault that I'm in love with her now. Besides, it's obvious she totally digs me. Does not. 
Yes, come on, Ray. Stop being such a pussy. Does too. Look, I'm going after Michelle. I'm sure she needs to talk. But you told me to let her go just a minute ago. Yeah, chicks dig that kind of stuff. <laughs> this is so cliche, my god. Why does this type of thing always happen to me? Alright, so my character transformation is going to be from a shy weirdo to a hero. That's pretty normal so far. <coughs> I wonder where they went. Oh man, this is really bothering me. I guess I'll search over there. Turning on the light controls. All right, press the C button on the nunchucks to switch the light on and off. Saving controls, press A when you get in front of a lamp. Uh, save screen will appear and you'll be able to save. You can only save when the lamp is on. Holy crap. You guys see this, right? Like, look at my freaking, like... Can I light my stick on fire? No. Look at the light setting. Okay, light off right now. Light on. My god. <laughs> that is amazing. Alright, I'll pick up the knife. That is amazing. Like, wow. I was playing Slenderman, like, the eight pages, and my flashlight wasn't even that good. <laughs> Holy shit. We're just camping out by all these broken houses? Alright, so the map, mini map. Well, oh, it's a little bit handy. Yeah. Alright, I want to look down. Why am I just like camping out? Uh, I'd rather camp kind of inside this spooky house. If there's giant bugs, then I'd rather be safe than sorry. Alright, February 28th. They finally made it to the island. Or to the island. The island has no name, apparently. The original idea was to set up camp outside, but someone forgot to bring the tent poles. I would have liked to sleep under the stars, but my girlfriend is allergic to mosquitoes, so we had to break into one of the cabins. I don't think anyone lives here anymore. Although it, seem, although it seems that whoever did left in a hurry, I hope they don't plan to come back anytime soon. Uh, I got some bad feelings that we're gonna have to start doing some stuff right away. I'm gonna save because I don't wanna go through all that dialogue again. The lamp is lit. Save successful. Alright. That's a lot of dry dialogue, though, but so far it seems like an okay game. Oh man, my mini map's not activating, so I guess I gotta explore myself. Right, I hear you. I don't see them, though. I connected. I guess this is the first part of the map. I l I've run like I'm injured. Like I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil, and my character is injured. That's the way the guy runs right now, and it is so annoying. All right, so I'm gonna go to a place I haven't been yet. Wait, can I activate my mini map even bigger? I like, I like the menu music though. Great menu music. Alright, so I was there already. So I do gotta go down. Great music though. I will give it that. If they had this music for a Resident Evil game, that would be amazing. Alright, I think I'm going the right way. I have no idea. It didn't tell me. So I'm off to explore the foggy night all by myself. But I didn't hear any gunshots. That's the thing. I did not hear a single gunshot. Oh. Q. 
Okay, she picked that one up earlier and nothing happened, but I guess now they're bad. Okay, get off me. Get off me, damn thing. Low attack, low attack, low attack. Kill them all. Kill them all, kill them all. Kill them all, shake, shake. I'm not sure if I... Low attack, low attack, come on. Low attack, low attack. <laughs> oh, these are centipedes, okay. Seems to be a monetary system in this game. And somehow I already killed 50 of them. Alright, come here, guys. Alright, well, I've killed nothing. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh my god, zombie fish. I wonder if they fly. Okay, I've have you guys ever seen the piranha movies? Have you guys ever watched like oh, ah, oh god damn, off me. Off me. Get so that's what I'll do. Every time one comes at me, I'll just like dodge to the side. In the original Prana trilogy, there was these piranhas that could fly for some reason. And this is exactly what it reminds me of. It's just flying piranhas. But this time they're flying zombie piranhas or something. Alright, stream one is done. Five killer fish. I didn't kill any of that. Destroy ten wooden boxes. It didn't do that. But, um... Apparently I killed 54 centipedes. <laughs> I didn't realize there was 50 centipedes in that kill pile, but my god. Alright, let's see some details on enemies killed. Oh, wrong controller. Centipedes, okay. Deaths, zero. Enemies killed, 54. Fragments, 50. Alright. Let's see, save my game? Yes, because I'm going to be streaming one chapter every night for the rest of the week. I just make sure everything is working good, and then I'm going to exit, and I'll... S oh, watching now, three people. Hey, guys! Welcome. I know this isn't Far Cry like I planned, but... <laughs> Alright, so I'll see you guys tomorrow at let's say 7 30 so same time as today all right have a good one everybody